Welcome back. This is Cannabis in Canada, Jason Wilcox. Um, I'm actually here in one of them. This is the makeshift chamber that I had the police come in and they actually cut my plants down in that. And when I say makeshift, it's because when we first moved in, we had to quickly put in place up to, uh, to host our kids. So as you see, it's been PVC'd all the way around and sealed. What we're actually going to do is reconfigure the room so it's a little, a little better. I mean, it has, it has been. Uh, it's not an air sealed room. I run this a lot different. We're going to have an intake and exhaust, standard, uh, uh, basic, uh, much cheaper version of running a room. Um, you know, you got hundred dollars in PVC and some tape and some screws, and we're going to go through it step by step. Um, just to update y'all, I mean, I haven't made a movie in over a month. This is the first one coming out. A lot of that has been due to the lawsuits going on and, uh, you know, suing a police force takes a lot out of a person and uh, I believe taking on any sort of a political uh, entity um, can be a lot on a person once you really get into it and you understand uh, the depth of what you're into. So enough said about that, let's get on with the show and we're actually going to build this room. So a lot of the junk that's laying down here on the ground is going to be clean as we go along. We've got our joints. We figure it's going to take about 12 one gram joints to get through setting it up. And uh, you know, even basically up here, this is already preset. That's our your primary out. So I mean, I, everything that I run in here, all my lights are going to be run off that one breaker. Okay, so we have a 40 amp breaker that's going to be running that, which is way more than we ever will use in this particular room just because of the size. And we'll be setting up four lights with uh, with some timers and etc. So we'll see you in the next part. Okay, already as, as before we've just left. Now this here can either be an intake or an exhaust. Um, you know it, it depends on the, on the, on the, on the uh, growers uh, configuration for the room. In this case this is an exhaust that leads to outside. So um, we'll be hooking our main, um, our main uh, lights and fans up uh, directly to this to be exhausted out of the room. So there's going to be a line down here at least of two lights and then we'll have another two lights over there. So uh, in the next segment, you'll actually see our two lights along here, and, uh, and we'll go from there. Okay, as you can see, the room's coming along. Um, it's good to have an assistant because I certainly uh, it'd be a lot slower being able to do this on my own. But as you can see, we've got them hung up. The chains are adjustable, so the lamps can be lowered basically down to here. And of course, keeping your lumens in your, in your light spectrum to the right level, which is, you know, you know, about 16 inches or so above your plant, depending on what, what like that's a thousand watt and this is 600 watt. So you know, there's going to be different heights. Making sure you have some adjustable flex room in your in your in your uh, ducking, and then straightening your ducking out so it's there's much air it gets straight through. You don't want any blockage of air. When you get up to this end, you don't want too many curves. You know, as much as possible. In my case, I've done this so that there's no holes. This is a makeshift room. This is actually going to be my office. So. I made sure there's no holes in any walls. You know, basically this goes straight outside. This gets piped out, but without cutting any holes through the wall. There was already uh, the ability to put the ducking out, and that's the same with the intake that's on the other end that we'll show you later. But uh, for now, this is what's fundamental. We got only uh, two lights again, thousand six hundred. There will be a thousand, a six hundred over here, and then once eventually we'll be right here, and we'll have a thousand, another six hundred. And it's a part of my uh, little crazy experiment. All running under heat cold reflectors, and uh, of course we have to look at getting an AC unit in here for summer. But uh, for now, this is where we're at. We'll see you in the next part. Hey, welcome back. As you can see, as a, as I said, the ducking's now been done, and uh, my assistant's done a great job. Really, kind of left it in his hands to be able to uh, to help design design this room and kind of put it together. Uh, I've been kind of run down and dealing with other issues. But uh, all said, in the construction, you can see it's now going out here. We've got our ducking lines done. We've got tape temporarily on here. Um, that's something that's uh, important to understand. Is if you have a problem with needing to lower your uh, raise and lower yourself, you can actually tape your ducking together so you don't do any air restriction. And what I'm talking about is up here, you can see where we got the fan. Now this is again, we have to go up to about 700 CFM fan. Uh, and this is a dual fan, and it has an 8 to 6 inch um, uh, conversion uh, end on it. I can't remember what they're called exactly, but you can, you know, you pick them up at Home Hardware, they're about 15 bucks each. But you have to put that on there and uh, to convert it down to 6, otherwise it's the 8 inch uh, ducking. And then that, of course, leads down around. Okay, so that, um, again, it's important to understand that using a little bit of tape here, you can see how much extra give. So if I have to drop my lights down here for any reason, 
Here's the extra gear, and I can then release that by just pulling back on the tuck tape. Just a couple little tacking gloves, and that helps the same within your center airflow. Because when you fire up your fan, which we got up here, and we got an 86 that runs down, you have to get all the stuff together and make sure that they're fastened on tight. And this is your power exhaust. This is what takes all the heat. Right now, those lamps are just running hot. But it's because otherwise, you guys won't be out here and talking. But once we fire this up, of course, you can see how this goes into the fan and into the can. And then this is actually exhaust out of both the smell and, of course, any vapors moving in and other stuff and uh, colors in the air. So uh, this is working as a, as a straight exhaust. And what that does by running a straight exhaust, and this is important, is because I'm actually taking this and sucking all the air through here. So no matter what, it's just getting rid of the smell. It comes out through the can, okay? Get sucked up through here, cans pulling it down, pushing all the hot air out of the lights, up and through the tubing, and then outside. And of course, in the winter time, you want to make sure that that's routed in a way that doesn't uh, doesn't blow a lot of hair or hot air out of your house 24 hours because nobody does their laundry that often. So it's something to keep in mind. But uh, all said, you can see the easy configuration. There's one half of the room, and where the T is going to go in is over here. And what I mean by a T is that those of us who work with ducking, I'm still relatively new to it to be honest. I don't like uh, working with ducking. But uh, you put the T in there and you're able to then uh, get the same exhaust. Um, the one fan can do this whole room. Um, and uh, of course we'll get a bigger...